just finishing up the uh, tailing sluice here. I uh, put that little uh, window and it's to trap and funnel all of the slurry into a more manageable duct. I used a uh, just a household ventilation duct that would be used in a floor of your house, new construction. I made a plate and uh, attached it from the bottom. Siliconed it all in and uh, I'll show you what the back of it looks like here uh, in a minute. There's a side view of it. Like I said, it's just a prefabricated ventilation duct that was mounted to a, a plate and it's got a six inch uh, pipe opening that I'll be able to attach uh, more ducting and get it to align with the intake of the supply tub. Okay, my goal here is to get the slurry to drop down into the into that duct and capture most of it into the uh, suction nozzle. I can't connect it directly because I think due to the water level it will suck air. If that duct and my uh, intake opening were piped solid all together the water level of the tank would have to be up over all the top of it in order for it to suck and it, I think it creates some problems. So I've just got it to where the slurry will dump out of that pipe directly over the top of the intake and hopefully that will capture most of it. I'll probably play around with that a little bit, maybe rework a duct, put a fitting on the bottom of it so it, the, all the slurry drops out and then maybe have like an oversized bell fitting, funnel type fitting that would still allow water to fill the pipe but yet direct most of the slurry down into the funnel to be sucked into that. So the more I can capture out of the tailing screen into the vortex, uh, the better off we'll be. I don't necessarily have to eliminate the fines from collecting into the uh, 70 gallon supply tub but I think the more that I could capture into the vortex at least I have more control over it and I know where it's going and I can address it if it's kind of scattered out it creates a, a little bit more uh, of a problem or more variables so I'm gonna get this thing hooked up I'm gonna start I'm gonna run some more material uh, actually run it through the high banker with the sluice the riffles and the whole thing and See where it goes.
Well, I can see we got a few leaks here to seal up. That's easy though. It's dropping off the the plates from the tailing sluice in the front and the back. I didn't seal those. I just I probably should. And I need to check out where the water's traveling down the runners. You can't lose any water. Even these little drips will kill you. You know, a couple days of that and you lost you know five or six inches of water. So. So far, so good. I think I'm going to need a bigger pump, though. Running that wide open. All that, that lay flat hose isn't the best. I'll probably put a rigid because it's got kinks and whatnot in it. So get the water flow will get a little bit better. I mean, running it wide open is probably fine. Uh, but I'm probably right at the edge. I won't be able to add those canister filters to this system I'll probably have to go to a two or three inch pump but so far I like the way it's spinning down in the vortex um, the water is going to get cloudy and dirty I mean that's that's all right the the whole purpose of this is to extend the water life and so if we can trap that even the smaller particles I know it's not trapping the suspended solid or the suspended clays and all that but uh the idea is to reduce the workload on the canister filter. So if we can put everything into that vortex drum, or a lot of it, uh, we can go in line from that vortex drum and have uh, some canister filters to help clear up that water. And they may be running in line with the whole system, or I may valve them out so they don't operate at all. And we wait until the water starts to get to a point where you know it's you know it's not gone, but it's getting kind of kind of thick. Then we can just open up the valves, trap as much of the solids as we possibly can, revalve it and extend the water life a little bit farther and be able to take out the filters and clean them and put them back in and so on. But it's progress. That's it, man.